from Front Porch Ideas and more. And today Dave and I are making a special stepping stone for a very dear friend of ours. And what we wanted to include in the stepping stone is things that are very meaningful to her. So just take a look here real quick. We're starting out with a mold. You might even have one of these for making a stepping stone before. This is a mold and we put some chicken wire in it to reinforce the concrete when we pour it in here. And then we purchased some mosaic stained glass from Hobby Lobby and it has all different colors and different shapes of stained glass. And the very special things that we bought were things that mean um, a lot to our friend. So um, our friend is into horses and um, her and her husband into boating. And so we bought some horseshoes and we got an anchor that we're putting in there because they loved boating. And we also put their initials in with a, a heart in the middle and a little angel over them. And then I just added um, some of the stained glass in a colorful pattern around the special mementos. So the next step is we're going to show you about uh, putting the concrete into the mold and then putting these uh, mementos um, into the concrete. And one thing I wanted to mention is that Dave added some wire to each of the mementos so that it reinforces it into the concrete and it doesn't pull out easily. So stay with us and we'll show you the next step. Dave used his wheelbarrow to mix up the concrete and he just followed the instructions on the package. So Dave added some concrete to the bottom of the mold and then he put the chicken wire on top and then he's going to add some more concrete. And then it's just a matter of leveling it out before we start adding um, the pretty stones and the mementos that we have. Is it looking pretty good, Dave? Yep, looks great. All right. Looks great. Great. We added our mementos to the concrete first, starting with the largest items. So we put in the the wrench and the horseshoes and the helm and then we also put in the initials with the heart in between and got those just exactly where we wanted them and then we started um, putting the pretty uh, stones around all of the, um, the mementos and just laid them on the top of the wet concrete as it got further along, we sometimes had to use a screwdriver if, if something would fall below the concrete a little bit too much, so we used a screwdriver to adjust it. And so you have to kind of work with it a little bit. Some of the um, items might go under the concrete just a little bit too much, so it's just a matter of um, lifting them up a little bit with the screwdriver. And then as, after we got everything placed, then what I did is I used the screwdriver and just slightly tapped on each piece to make sure that it was down enough enough in the concrete so that when it dried that it was firmly implanted in there. And so now that everything is placed in the wet concrete just the way that we like, it's time to, very, to be patient and let the stone dry. And we waited a full 24 hours before we took the stone out of the mold. So I would caution you to be patient and not pop it out too soon because the wait will be worth it. The stone popped out from the mold very easily. We just turned it upside down and put it on a towel and it didn't stick to the stone to the mold whatsoever. So now um, the top of it has a little bit of, oh, I guess you call concrete dust or crumbs on it. So I brought my hair dryer outside and I'm blowing it off. And then I'm gonna use a toothbrush and actually just scrub the, um, the mementos a little bit to, to remove any of that little bit of grime that's on there. So I'm just using the brush to gently go across each of the stones and um, get rid of the little bit of residue that was left from, from the drying of the concrete. I'm using a soft toothbrush and then I think you could actually just put some water on a paper towel or a little window cleaner or dishwashing liquid um, to shine up the stones. Once this is really dry, you could probably spray it with the hose because, of course, it's going to be sitting outside anyhow. And then when I'm all done with this, I'm going to use my blow dryer again and just blow away the residue. 
but everything's set in here really well because what we did um, at the very end when we were putting the decorations inside of the concrete, we pushed them down um, a good amount. There's just a little bit that's above the surface, but we wanted to make sure that they were firmly embedded in the concrete. And it looks like we did a pretty good job of that, along with putting some wire on the larger pieces. So this is going to be a very nice gift to give to our friend. We turn the stone upside down to let it dry for a few more hours on the other side. As you can see, it's really shiny and smooth on the bottom, and it turned out wonderfully. So we're going to let it dry before we give it to our friend. Just a little bit more. The finished stone speaks for itself. It turned out really well, and we're glad that we waited plenty of time for it to dry well. Our friend really, really loves it. We've given it to her, and here are some pictures that we took of it in her garden. Thank you for watching.